Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate a web form created in Entreport into your WordPress site so you can start collecting opt-ins for your mailing list. Now, it's pretty easy to do, um, but you just have to know where to go and what to click to in the right order to get the form that you want. So, the first thing we're going to do is log into our Entreport account, which I have done already. And when you log in, Depending on your settings, you may end up at the dashboard page or the contacts page, but wherever you end up, you want to make sure you hover over contacts and then click on smart forms and that will open the smart forms section. And then at the top tab, you want to click on new smart form. You are then taken to the smart form creator and we give the form a name. So this is going to be called newsletter opt-in. You can call yours whatever you like. And the fields that they have right now are first name, last name, and email. I'm going to take out the last name field by clicking on it and then clicking the little garbage can icon. And then clicking yes. So all they have to fill in is their first name and their email. And then I will click on the settings tab. And I can set whether this should be a single opt-in, double opt-in optional, which means that it's basically a single opt-in, but they send a confirmation email as well. So that if someone clicks on the confirmation email, the link in the confirmation email, they are then double opted in. So you have a, a mixed list of single opt-ins and double opt-ins, and then double opt-in required. And depending which country you're in, uh, double opt-in required may actually be required in your country. And if it's not required in your country, it still is a good practice to maintain a clean and healthy mailing list. So I usually go with a double opt-in required. And you can set things like the, um, the confirmation email template that's sent out. And we just made some basic templates, confirm your registration, confirm your subscription. And you can use the default confirmation page or a custom landing page built within Entreport or a custom URL for a thank you page on your website, for example. And then if a contact has already opted in once, you can send, you can check this link or this checkbox. So if they're already uh, confirmed opt-in, you don't want to have them confirm again. So then you can send them to a different thank you page. So the people who are not confirmed, they would go to a, a page that says, thank you for subscribing. There's one more step. Please confirm your email address. People who are opted in, they'd be sent to a straight up thank you page. Thank you for subscribing. Here are the awesome benefits you're going to gain by subscribing to this whatever it is they subscribe for. So that's how we set up the double opt-in in Entreport. And then you can assign tags, you can assign sequences. We're not gonna get into that in this video because this is a newsletter we're adding them to. It's something we create every week, so we're not gonna add them to a sequence, which is an automated follow-up. We would tag them with something descriptive, like newsletter opt-in, um, but you can tag yours with whatever you like. And then when we're ready, we click on Publish Form. And we're given four options to integrate the form. The JavaScript, the Lightbox, the iframe, the HTML. The only two I ever use are the JavaScript or the HTML. The HTML is used for plugins like Pop-Up Domination, where there's a, a pop-up that appears on the website. Those type of things usually require you to have the HTML version of the form. However, because we're just going to put this in the sidebar of our website, we're just going to use the JavaScript. The big benefit of using the JavaScript form is if you make changes to your form, like say you add another field, it automatically updates the form on wherever it's located. The JavaScript just pulls the data every time the page is loaded, so it always updates to the new form version. The things that don't need to be updated like that are, for example, the tags and the sequences. Those, if you change those within the form, that applies to the HTML content, the HTML version of the form, as well as the JavaScript version. It's just the form structure itself that the JavaScript will automatically update, whereas you'd have to reintegrate with the HTML if you change the structure of the form. So we're going to use the JavaScript. We're going to highlight this piece of code and click on Copy. We're going to go back to our WordPress dashboard, and we're going to make a widget or add it to a widget. So we're going to go to Appearance and click on Widgets. And we want this widget to be in the sidebar of our blog. 
So here we have the blog sidebar, which is installed as part of the Aveda theme. And we're going to find the text widget right down here. Click and hold and then drag it up to the top. I'm going to put it at the very top of this widget or the sidebar. We're going to paste in the JavaScript. We're going to put a headline, sign up for our newsletter. Then click on save. Now we're going to go find a blog post to see what that looks like in the sidebar. I'm going to click on this blog post, click on view to see it live. And here's what we've entered. The sign up for a newsletter headline is right here. And then here's the form down below it. And this blue box is actually from within Entreport in the design section. Here's the blue box right here. So I'm going to show you right now the big benefit of the JavaScript in action. So when we click on the background tab, we can remove this box by setting the border style to none and then clicking on save. Now when we go back to our page and we reload this page, that border will now be gone. Border's gone. So that is automatically updated with the JavaScript version. Had you in integrated the HTML version, you would have to reintegrate the HTML. With the JavaScript, it's automatically updated. So that's how easy it is to add a opt-in to our newsletter widget on the side of your WordPress site. You're obviously going to want to make, make it a little prettier for your website, but that's the functionality and that's how that works. So I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video if it helped. Subscribe to our channel. Check out our social media feeds and check out WPLearningLab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.